Hello everybody! Welcome to today's new video. It's the beginning of a new series. It's going to be more than two parts. It's, it's going to be a whole outfit. So a while ago, like back in October I think, I posted this on my Instagram kind of as a teaser. Well this is coming to life. So I started this project a couple of months ago. I wanted to make sure that the fit was correct. So I cut the pattern extra big and fit it down on my husband who was going to be wearing this. I don't have any footage of that because I just didn't film any of it. Um, but if you are interested in learning how I size up and down and fit patterns and all of that, um, let me know in the comments down below. I can definitely make that kind of content for you guys. To start off this video, I really had to take apart what I had already done in order to make the lining match both the fashion fabric and the interlining fabric. Um, this was important because of how big the changes were, which you will see in a minute. I wanted to make sure that everything just fit really well and looked really nice because I'm putting a lot of time and energy and honestly trim on this outfit and I wanted to make sure it looked good. So when I was laying out the fashion fabric and the interlining over the lining fabric, I wanted to make sure everything was lined up correctly and smoothed out really nicely. That way the lining matched the exterior. I did this for both the front and the back panel pieces. I also realized that I like trimmed the collar down about an inch and I had to replicate that. When all of that was done, I went ahead and sewed the front collar pieces onto the front body piece. This is the first step when you make this pattern. Um, it makes sewing that ingrown collar in so much easier. I did this on both pieces of the front, making sure that I had a left and a right side because nothing is worse than getting to put everything together and realizing you have two left sides. It's like two left feet, only it's not funny. All right, when I had the front collar pieces sewn onto the front body pieces, I lined everything up and sewed the collar shoulder seams, whatever you want to call those. When the lining was completely pieced together except for the side seams, because we're doing a bag lining. Um, I laid the lining fabric on top of the fashion fabric and pinned it into place. I went ahead and pinned in the button placket as well. This just makes sure that um, if there is any pulling on the doublet, you're not going to see the shirt underneath. It's just going to look really nice and clean and cohesive and just, just look really nice in general. Like, let's be honest. While I was 
at cutting things out, I realized that the two sides were a little bit uneven. I remember doing this on purpose to make sure that the fit was correct, and so I just kept trimming down one side. It was no big deal. Oh, look, it's Joe! Look at my cute little bugger. He is in his favorite blanket and um, really happy, and he loves getting his chin scratched, and it's just, he's just super cute. He's really camera shy though, like getting pictures of him is incredibly difficult. In the spirit of getting everything possibly done that you could do in one step so you don't have to repeat things, I went ahead and pinned the epaulettes onto the arms eyes as well. Then I went ahead and ran all of that under my sewing machine and clipped the edges just so everything would conform nicely to where I needed it. And then I flipped it inside out and attached the side seams together to make that arm's eye complete and sewed it shut. And then it, the body of your doublet is like magically appeared. After the side seams were sewn together, I went ahead and pressed everything really nicely and then gave it a solid top stitch to make sure that the lining wouldn't roll out at all. On to the skirting! So the skirting is a really fancy peplum. Honestly I should just call it a peplum but it's technically called skirting that goes around the bottom of the doublet. It's what gives it its like flounce and hides all the points that lace your uh, pants into your doublet so they don't fall off your butt. Um, I did this just really quickly, sewed all of them together so that they were one continuous piece. I did this for the fashion layer as well as the lining. Then I sewed the fashion layer together, clipped those corners, and turned it really nicely. When the skirting was completely finished, I attached it to the doublet in a very tricky manner. Again, if you are interested in a more detailed version of this, let me know in the comments down below more than willing to make more detailed content for you guys. Um, I, you, you just need to let me know what to make.
Now that the skirting is attached, I am just sewing up the last little bit by hand. Spacing out your buttons is one of the most fun things, I think. You either want 13 or 21, and it just depends on how you measure things out. I like to divide things into fourths, and then those fourths into thirds, and then you get 13, and it's really simple. Whenever you're cutting through multiple layers, always be careful not to go through the entire buttonhole. I have gotten overzealous and done it a couple of times. It's not fun to have to repair that. And then I sewed on all of the buttons. I like to sew on a button and do it up and then use that to help me space where the next button would go. Alternatively, I could measure the whole thing, but who has time for that? The very last step is attaching the lacing rings. Alternatively, you can put a waist tape in and hand sew eyelets. I don't like to hand sew eyelets. I avoid it like the plague, so we, we're getting lacing rings in this template. You want to make sure you sew at least five into the waist, and if you are having detached sleeves in the doublet, like what this one has, you want at least three points in the arm side. Okay, thank you so much for sticking all the way to the end. This has been such a fun project to work on, and I can't wait to see um, how everything else turns out, because I'm currently still working on it. So, bye guys! <laughs>